So when should we expect that one? It's, it's really more, more or less, it's, it's life. You know what I mean? Realism. It's, it's what it is. It's, it's, it's everyday life. You know what I mean? You know, I ain't trying to show you. I ain't trying to overwhelm you with, you know, songs about bras and clubs. And, you know what I'm saying? Jewelry and cars. You know, I just feel real You know what I mean? So most people respect real If you don't respect real, that make you fake, right? So you just, I just respect the real now, being with um with Russell Simmons and him backing up um, recent news, you know he's he's trying to limit people from using certain words in hip hop. You know, talk a little bit about about that. Since you are working with Simmons, obviously you either agree with him or disagree. Or how does that work? Well, actually, um, I don't even really use that kind of language anyway. So you know what I mean? Like, I can get my point across without saying bitches and hoes. You know what I'm saying? I can get my point across without using words. I think if you use those words, your vocabulary is so condensed. You know what I mean? Why not broad? You know what I mean? You can get your point across without using the harsh words. You know what I mean? Everybody don't have to try to be Pac. You know, Pac was great at that. Pac, you know what I'm saying? He had so much emotion when he said what he said. You felt it. You know, and everybody thinks that they have to do that. You don't have to do that. You know, you can go around the back way. You know, that's what I do. I slide up through the back way. You know what I'm saying? And I'm in the same house. So how did you, how were you able to get your deal based on the fact that historically the West Coast people that get deals, they're all under the, the, the NWA umbrella, you know, Dre or Snoop or E or, you know what I'm saying, or Q. How, how were you able to get away from that umbrella and still, you know, get a successful deal? More or less, you know what I mean, no disrespect to the past, but I think most of them, most of them wouldn't want to fuck with a nigga for a while. You know what I mean? Because, I mean, I mean, man, that's what it is, man. I mean, we really the street. You know what I mean? We, the bricks is where it's at. And, you know, most of the guys that really rap right now that, that act like they gangsters and all that, you can't pay them motherfuckers to come this way. And, you know, the first thing you hear when you hear Watts, they can be like, well, where you fucking with the niggas? You know what I'm saying? Especially the great street. Well, well, you know what I'm saying? Motherfuckers don't want to deal with that. You know what I mean? And they feel like, you know, it's just a stereotype of it, you know what I'm saying? But if they come down there see that everybody down here is good with you. You know what I mean? But they, they don't even want to take that chance. You know what I mean? So, you know, Russell was willing to take that chance. You know what I mean? Jay-Z, you know what I'm saying? When I met him, you know, they didn't look at me as a watch nigga. You know what I'm saying? They looked at me as a nigga that was dope from the streets. You know, that's what Russell looked at it as, you know? When Russell come down here, Russell was a fuck. You know what I mean? That's why I love him to death. You know what I mean? That's why I can't nobody else... You know, it don't be people in the industry trying to turn me against them, you know, saying bad shit about them, and, you know, spreading rumors, but that shit don't matter to me because, you know what I'm saying, a dude's heart, you know, he got a genuine heart, man, and he feel the same way I feel, he don't fear nothing but God, that's why I go to New York by myself when I go visit him, and, you know, when he come out here, he be out here by himself, you know what I mean, we walk through the malls, we go to the movie theaters, you know what I mean, we don't got a hundred thousand motherfuckers with us, it's just me and my man, you know what I'm saying, it's like my big brother. Me and my big brother go, we don't need a thousand people, you know what I mean? And, you know, a lot of these motherfuckers out here, y'all know, ain't gonna go nowhere by themselves. Better alone from the watch. I don't think you can get a motherfucker to get off the 110 and make a left on Century. You know what I mean? Um, you, you know, you mentioned Russell a lot. He's obviously the, probably the biggest businessman in the, in the industry. What have you learned so far from, from that? What kind of business is on the side besides hip hop you got on the side? Oh shit, I got my own label, Peter Roll Records, you know what I mean? Um, rest in peace, Lobo, Early Mel, Young, Mo, Her, all my niggas, all my little Peter Roll niggas, Case, and Pi Young, all my niggas going here. You know what I'm saying? Um, yeah, I'm gonna start my clothing line, you know what I mean? It's just, me being around Russell, I, I see so much outside of me. You know what I mean? I see, I see just business savvy. You know what I mean? I see a way that you can eat. You ain't, you know, because I don't want to rap forever. You know what I mean? This shit ain't something you try to do forever. And I see niggas try to do this shit forever. Like, some people need to really hang this shit up. I ain't going to say no names. They know who they are. They need to pass this shit on like milk. You know what I mean? But you ain't never got to pass the clothes on. You know what I mean? You could always be behind the scenes in music. And, you know, that's what I'm doing. I'm going to, you know, put these albums out, knock their heads off. And uh, I'm going to pass this shit on like you're supposed to. You know what I mean? I'm going to fall back through my clothes. 
got my real sister apparel, Peter Roll apparel coming. Got a lot of shit going on, man, that, you know what I'm saying, I'm with Russell, you know, just being around him and see how he moves and see how him can more operate. You know, I like to give a shout out more, too, that's my girl, you know, she helped me a lot, you know what I mean, and, um, to support, you know what I mean, so, you know, all I do is watch him and try to emulate him, you know what I mean, because shit, who wouldn't want to emulate, motherfuckers follow niggas in the street, why not follow motherfuckers who got billions, you know what I'm saying, so, that's what I'm trying to do, I mean, fuck it, I'm a copycat, you know what I mean. So, you know, I'm just following, just following what they, what they give me to follow, you know what I mean? Where can people hear more about Dro, or read more on Dro, or gain contact with Dro? Oh shit, you can go to myspace.com, backslash Dro from Watts, that's D-R-O-F-R-O-M-W-A-T-T-S. Uh, you can go to my site, check out, find out everything about my clothes, my music. You can get sneak previews of the album if you ain't heard it yet. You know, you can uh, catch the video me and Julio G just shot last week. Uh, West Side Radio got the album coming out in August. Got the single off there. What up, Julio? That's my nigga. Um, you can go there. You can go to Julio G, MySpace Julio G. Uh, you can find a lot of shit out about me. You can go to RussellSimmons.com, find out shit about me. You can go to DefJam.com, find out shit about me. I'm everywhere. You know what I mean? I'm like the police. I'm all around this motherfucker. It's hot. Anywhere you go, I'm going to be there. Right. Any any last words, anything else? Um, I'd like know. to give a shout out to everybody in the streets who's trying to work and do their music. Um, stay focused, stay humble, put God first. Believe in yourself if nobody else believes. Believe in yourself because motherfuckers been believing me and the same motherfuckers that have been believing me, they following me. So, you know, believe in yourself. Put God first in anything you do. And let nobody hinder your thoughts.